Oh. So you want to see my screen um, of my canvas? I'm going to I'm going to add that to the zoom so that if you want to you can actually add that to uh okay so i'm going to start just we're going to get more and more uh live streaming so i'm going to try to get used to uh broadcasting and I'm going to directly use a brush and yeah. let's take a look. You see the reference and you can see there uh, my color palette. So what is just the challenge so far for you? The angle. Okay. Uh, how are we going to all of the angle? Why don't we just talk about the angle? Just everything. All about angle. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna take a little gems off and a little bit uh, brown color. So, so the angle. So the first thing, the angle, right? What is this? The main angle of the whole face, and then the top of the angle over here, and. This is the whole movement coming down over here. The arm has an angle. The arm over here too, if you want to include the arm. Okay, so this is the the top of the arm. That's the angle, and then the shoulder is the shoulder angle and the shoulder angle like this. I think that if we not thinking much about the arm or the, sh the head, the shoulder, if you only focus on the angle, it will be much easier that way. So now after we find the main angle, right, and I'm going to wrap around the head with the angle in mind, right, it's the head angle now coming in over here like that. So that's what would be the head. Yeah, so this would be the center angle, what we call the center movement, is that is very essential thing. So it's right in the middle over here. So and then you can divide it from the top over here, uh, because earlier I already when I draw the uh, the angle of the shoulder line, it was already I already uh, counted that how tall the head compared to the head, the chin to the arm. Right, I'm thinking about that. This is probably only, this is a half compared to the head. So in that case, I need to make this even a little bit lower, like that. So I'm going to get a, a paper tower and just soften that a little bit over here. And, and I can soften that, that angle can go. And here you go. Now, I think slow is making all the sense, so it's don't need to go too fast. Okay, here you go. Now, if I ha keep the arm over here, the top of the arm over here, and this the top of the head, and then there's supposed to be, let me see, I'm going to measure it right on my screen. Okay, take a look at one, two, Three oh, a little bit less than one third, in fact. So I'm going to take a one, two, three. So this is would be the bottom of the chin. Okay, that's pretty good. And the next thing is about the width and the height measurement. So the angle on the left side. Of the, of the face like this. And then you're going to think about the width compared to the height. So I'm uh, looking for, take a look at the left side to the uh, first corner measure with the outside of the ear. I'm going to put it over here all the way. It's actually get to the hairline. And hmm, if we know the hairline, the hairline is about one third. Can you see that? 
that one dot over here, right? Top to the hairline and then to the eye. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, the top of the head right here. To the chin and then the eye is about here. The hairline is about here, right? And then the chin may be down over here, maybe a little bit more. This is a very simple uh, measuring. This is not much. Uh, if you focus on one thing, you can find that one thing. It's very easily, right? So this is good. Now, now since it's the hairline over here, we already know. So the left side over here, from here to the outside of the ear, is exactly equals to from here to the chin. So we can do that from here and it looks like this need to be much wider okay and we need to decide okay right over here that's the ear like that so that means the hair need to come out a little bit more like that okay so the face is still in the right place like that this is good you were getting that that correctly and from here on we can take a look at the the middle point the ear over here the midpoint from here to here and interesting from here to the corner of the eye is very much like a one third one two three of the width of the face okay so this is pretty good after we do that we know the eyebrow would be here Okay, so that's as much as we're going to do for the measuring. We're going to uh, quickly go up to the whole uh, big proportion. And the shoulder over here coming over here, this angle. There's a little angle right here. And coming down over here. And that will become the arm down here. Okay. And take a look at on this side. The shoulder line. When you think about the left shoulder line, you always can go through the other side of the shoulder. Okay, all the way coming through this way. And the mouth, it looks like right over here. So we don't have to draw, paint all the details. The nose is about right there. And maybe a little bit tiny lower. Okay, right here. A little bit tiny lower. And the mouth is about tiny lower right here. This is good. Coming down over here. And so this is the hand. All right now, all the large angle we already control. And then we're going to uh, paint it in the larger shape. Okay. Look at that from here, the shoulder. There is a fold coming down. We can use that angle coming down over here. So if you focus on the angle, we get all the angle. And then take a look at the angle of the cast shadow and coming down this direction and have a little big shadow over here. So this, like that. So pretty good. Now the composition, I'm happy about it. So now I'm going to start adding the large color. So I'm gonna just having this and the larger brush right over here okay if you see something or uh, have anything to okay this is great and let's take a look at how can we sh uh, do this really quickly and uh, how quick we can do that. So we're going to look at the shadow side. We are looking at the background. Uh, so it all depends on where you want to start. If you want to start right over here and the outside first and then going inside, well, we spend lots of time on the face already so far. So why don't we do the outside? And I'm going to take a little gamzo. So start thin to thick. I'm going to take a little yellow color over here, right? Here we go, like that. 
get a little bit plus and blue. That's also all we use, right? So if this color too bright, you got to use a little red color, right? So it's the complementary color. I'm gonna have this start from the bottom over here. Okay, if you use the uh, acrylics or a garage, or they are very much very similar approach. Start from thin, start from large, and before going small, okay? Like that. And always think before we do it, right? It's let's just let's say everything responsible. Okay, you're responsible for uh, the whole painting. And I always I'll compare making a painting to uh, building a house. And uh, yesterday I met um, a member talk about that is I just uh, always have fear painting portrait directly on watercolor and uh, because I need to keep changing changing back and forth many 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 times because it's portrait I don't think it's just because of portrait that you make you to keep changing back and back and forth back and forth I believe that you do anything always want to have always do the back and forth back and forth back and forth no matter what I think you do the apple will do the same too right so it is not about the portrait the portrait you like to have the freedom to back and forth back and forth because is something wrong in your process that we want to look into is that do I make the decisions a little bit more sincerely right at the beginning or I just a little bit careless right so I want I want everyone to think about it's a habit you maybe want to correct it it's not about portrait and it's not about watercolor. It's a habit of you did not or we did not give enough time at the first step. So you don't want to uh, double check on is did I do something wrong? Uh, should I do something a little bit different? Okay. Like in an oil painting over here, uh, you don't have to like uh, putting lots of thick color right at the beginning because we are still searching right now right you don't really need to put that much up like over here this is pretty good now i'm going to have a little bit darker color get a little bit more blue get a little red okay that make it a little bit darker okay over here i'm going to have a little shape over here like that that's good enough okay that coming down over here have a little bit soft uh, shape of the tree like that okay simple just keep it a little bit simple. Okay, here we go. And coming down over here, over here too. Now we're just making the background, filled in the color, roughly the color we want. And then what's the next thing we're gonna do? We are gonna come back to the face and the body. And then you don't have to, right? We don't have to, making one thing totally finish before we go do something else okay maybe some people like that but we try to keep the balance what we look for is the balance the balance is very important balance is not one thing alone it's a multiple things combined together so we need to have those working on that at the same time right okay over here Okay, uh, you maybe see, oh, that's uh, losing the edge. That's fine. We can, f we find it once, we can find it twice. That's not a problem. Actually, I can move this in a little bit more to the shoulder. I can make the more clear, clean line. Okay, why don't I do just a little bit more to the sky then. I take a little bit white over here, okay. 
I'm just going to put the some light shape over here because outside over here is not really thick so it's very easy to uh, put the white paint in without feeling smudges okay so you even just use the paper towel to just wipe it off it's very easy okay a little bit over here too like that so very easy set we can come back to do more a little bit later okay here we go that's all right now we're gonna looking at the big shape of the face the shadow shape right the shadow shape what is it is it the brown color isn't it um so i'm gonna take the brown color you see what is that brown how dark is that brown we're gonna take a look i'm gonna testing it and i'm gonna put that in here just put that in okay that definitely a little bit too dark isn't it hmm? okay a little bit too dark so we're gonna take a look at need to get a little bit more yellow get a little bit more red and I think that a little bit more orange brown color not really that I'm gonna put that in here you see that that's a little bit better right okay take a look at the eye over here the shape so everything you do it just shape you're doing shape 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 okay here we go okay this is good as so i'm going to keep the little suggestions for the eye over here keep that now i'm going to keep coming down here yeah, notice my paint still very thin okay i'm going to get a little bit red because the ear Where's the ear? The ear about what's the angle connected? Uh, that's good. Relate to the eye. It will be here like that. And we're gonna do thicker and thicker very soon. And then on the face over here, there's a lot, a lot warmer like that. And going down over here. And we're not looking at the detail yet. It just put the color the shape in the larger shape you see on the cheek over here here we go so this is like uh, when you're seeing a person in a little distance right and you are not seeing the eye you're not seeing the nose all you see it is the larger shadow shape and the light shape and you immediately notice that that's the person that you know and this is how powerful that um, the larger light and shadow uh, convincing, suggesting the, the structure of a person. So how important that to suggest the uh, likeness, right? It's very important. So I'm gonna have a little bit white, mix it into here. I'm gonna put it on the side over here, put a little bit here, and and a little bit gray. Take a little bit gray color over here. So I'm just gonna mix that a little bit over here. A little bit more white. Okay, I need more white paint soon. Okay, right here. I'm just gonna have this a little color right over here. Now you see a little bit more gray already on the side of the uh, the on the uh, out the side over here between this and the ear, a little bit lighter too, and that's also a little bit lighter too, like that. And the top over here a little bit more orange color. It's going to be like that. Now, pretty interesting on the side over here too. Also have this kind of same color, right? Put that little color over here. Okay, you don't have to have too much to suggest something. Something, and over here I have a little bit. This is also a little bit lighter, but in the shadow side as well. Okay, I think this is good enough, and I'm gonna have a little bit brighter orange color, and right next to over here, can you see it? This very good. 
like that. And it says right at the between the light and the shadow, it usually have a very, very bright color. The bright color can be red and orange color, right? That's just good like that and have some reflection down over here too. Okay, this is good. We come back to do the light shape a little bit. You see, start from outside to the inside. Right? This is very important. We don't have blacks, so that we mix the blue color with the red. So I'm gonna take a look at over here. Uh, you may ask about it, why you don't use black, okay? Not that I don't like black. I do like it, but I want simple. So simplistic, it making us to make that decision. So we want to have the smallest palette. Okay, here we go, like that. In that case, black can be replaced but I only use the red and the blue. Okay, this is good. Take a little bit gamso. Oh, too much. So I need to let go. Too much gamso. It's not a good thing. It's gonna stay very, very wet for a long time. So I'm gonna come over here. Just looking for the shape. Okay, the thing that not in the shape, you don't have to paint it. Okay, right over here. Let's come out a little bit and then come down over here. And here you go. Now the arm. It's right under this shape, okay. And yeah, when I was younger, I always feeling kind of like, it's okay. I'm gonna just paint the dark color everywhere. And then I'm gonna come back to uh, make the light color on top of it. You see, you have to ask yourself, is, is that necessary to do that? It's just not, it could waste your energy and time. Right, just think about that. Okay, over here on the shoulder over here. Okay, that's good. We want simple. We want to directly getting to the point. Okay, here. Either come in a little bit more. Okay, that's good. All right, and then I move this a little bit in a little bit more. Okay. This is pretty good. You see that? It's already getting in. Right? Getting in and in and see more and more. The balance. That's what we talk about. Balance, balance. Okay. Now we're going to paint the light side of the shirt and then the face. And then it's done. And take a look at I'm gonna have a little white. And what color that would be? A little bit like a light brown color, isn't it? I'm gonna mix it into here. That's just good. That's just the color. You see, only this three color plus the white. You can mix any color you want, but why do you want other color? Well, right, that's for many reasons. Some people just like to play with colors, okay? And that's, That is your freedom. How does that sound? Is that good? Now, you need to have a little bit more red because too much, too much blue. I'm gonna come with the red because also the light sauce is a warm. Okay, I'm gonna have a little bit red over here, like that. That's as good. And put the color. Just spread it, if that is the right color, spread it right over here, that's good. I'm gonna have a little bit more paint, a little bit thicker, and take a look at on this side. Okay, here you go, coming over here. Like that, that's pretty good. We can make it even lighter on this side, but that's for, for now. Okay, that's good. Okay, here you go. And a little bit light shape over here too. That's good. That's a little bit softer. All right. 
that's pretty good one thing at a time i know it's a look a little bit maybe a little bit too saturated a little bit too bright and actually i'm going to try to correct the color again i know i maybe try too hard okay let's take a look and i think they can make it less bright i always do that it's uh, i know it's a little bit too much okay here we go this yeah i think it's a little bit better already and the saturation come down a little bit okay we're gonna leave it like that Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's take a look at. And we're gonna paint the, the light shape. Okay. What the light shape is gonna be, and I'm going to do this. I'm gonna zoom into the face a little bit. Okay, right over there. Okay. I'm gonna use a smaller brush. Okay. I'm using this number one, okay. And fibrous shape. I like fibrous shape. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the top of the head. How does that? Okay. Going to have the white. It's always have some brown color, so you don't need to worry, because if when I have the white over here, actually what I'm mixing with the brown color already there. Okay. So it's not just directly, just white, is have brown color there already. So always think about, look for what is already there. And this, that, it's just a few lines. It's already create that impressions of the hair. Okay, that's good. It's, you always can leverage what is there. Okay, this is good. And give a little shape over here. This is pretty good. Wow, wonderful, okay. So if you think about like, oh, a little bit more orange color, okay, just going to add a little orange color in here. You see that there's a little bit orange like that. That's just pretty good. A little bit orange color over here too. Okay. It's a habit we need to have. It's a better habit that you can have. Okay. I'm going to come back to give a little bit uh, details a little bit later. We're going to continue with the light shape. What's the light shape? This is good. Like a light orange color, right? It's not fully white. Okay, here we go. Now, take a look at the forehead. Right in here. Here we go. That's good. The, the, the little light over there. Beautiful. Think more instead of painting more. Yeah. The corner of the eye, right over here. That's good. And then take a look at the side over here. Take a look at the corner. Hmm, I think I make the face tilt a little bit too much. So the forehead maybe you're gonna come in a little bit more. And, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna come back to adjust them. Adjusting the shape. Okay, look at the cheek over here. Like that. Here you go. And this is good. Be a little bit sincere. Think before we do it. Okay, now I take a look at this a little gap. Very thin gap. Like that. That's good. Beautiful. And now going down to the under the chin over here. Let me see how deep, how, how much it come in. I think right here. This is good. Okay. Whoop. Now I'm going to get a little bit more paint. Right in here. Like that. That's good. That's good. Well, after you see the light shape and the shadow shape, it's almost there. 
Okay, now I'm going to get just a little bit lighter of the, in the front of the shirt. Now I'm going to have, just add a little shape. Everything, just a few shape can represent lots of information. That, look at this, it's not straight line. Actually tilted more going to the outside. So that's good. And what's the next thing over here? I'm gonna have a little bit light shape over here. In that mind, it's just looking for just the shape. And over here, turn around the brush. That's good, right here. A little bit shape, that's good. And over here, a little bit shape, over here. And outside, don't forget the outside. I need to have a little bit more white, make a little bit tiny thicker. Here we go. A little bit shape over here, and then, a little shape over here, a little bit lighter. That's it, right? And now you see the shirt, a lot more interesting. Now I'm going to clean the brush. I'm going to add a little bit shadow shape. Okay, a little bit shadow shape right over here. There's a little shape over here, like that. That's good, get a little red. Okay, here we go. And that's a little shape. That's a little shape over here. Okay, here we go. A little bit shape, a little bit thicker over here. Okay, that's good. A little shape like that. Here we go. That's good. And then reform the shape over here. We can make that a little bit more blue here. Okay, here we go. Okay, look at that. That need to be sharper. Okay, right here. Just make that in. Let's get that come up a, a little bit like that. Okay, that's good. And we can have this up a little bit, a little bit softer. That's good. Right, that's good, the shirt looks good. So I'm gonna have this also a little bit more clear, this shape right over here. Put it in. Okay, let's take a look. Now what else are we gonna do? I know that the forehead need to come in a little bit more, just tiny a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do, is just get a little bit dark color and take a look at an outside over here just push that in a little bit slowly okay slowly that's good slowly coming in a little bit more that's good that would change the impression i'm gonna have this softer coming out okay so not let the edge looks like it's so tight Okay, maybe get a little bit yellow outside over here too. Okay, now make a little bit more fun. Okay, here we go. A little bit more yellow over here too. That's good. I'm going to have a little bit yellow. Like that, a little bit lighter. So it don't have to have it to be white. That's good. I'm going to have this coming all the way to the face. Okay, look at it again. This good. A little bit soft, but it's beautiful, like that. Yeah, in fact, I'm gonna use a little bit white shape, like that. Have a little bit from here all the way out. Kind of interesting. You see, that's a little bit, but you have to, everything we do have to be, have intention, have a reason to do that. So it's not just like uh, doing that uh, out of the, the point, out of the, purpose okay always with a purpose what's the purpose and what I'm trying to do is that helping the painting or not going to help the painting okay that's just good everything has a purpose okay here we go now I'm gonna also change this corner over here a little bit lower that's good. Just put a little bit here. Let's make it lower already. 
uh, maybe a little bit softer, so I can actually soften that to the outside. I don't want it to be so clear. That's good. That's is called edges, right? We lose the edges for a purpose, not getting too much attention over there. I'm going to have this go all the way come to the neck, but we don't need to be very clear. That's good. Everything has a purpose. Just keep thinking about that. That's just the, the questions of the day. Why I'm doing that? Is that a purpose? Okay, here we go. Here we go, like that. Now it's got a lot softer. That's good. Now the tension going back to the face, right? This is good. I can soften that a little bit over here. It's very easy to modify it. Often, less is more. Okay, that's just good. Now we we'll come back to the face, right? We're going to give it a little bit darker color, darker brown. I'm going to get a little bit, just the red, mix the little bit blue in here. This is good. And what I'm going to do this with this, I'm going to, this may be a little bit too dark for the head. And maybe not. I'm going to see. I'm going to do a little, take a look about right here, right there. It's a little bit sharper, like that. Here you go. A little bit color over here, too. Like that. Is that fun? Okay, this is good. A little bit over here, too. Like a little here. That's good. Like that. And here we go. That's good. Seeing that, create more contrast. Now coming on to this side, I just need to put a little bit shape over here. Just a little bit, a little bit. Coming down to the ear, like that. And I'm gonna have a little bit coming to the background, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. All right. Getting there. Now we're going to paint it into the eye. Okay. Maybe eyebrows first, right? Going to get a little bit more orange color. Mix this together. And this is good. A little bit lighter. But this is good warm enough. So I'm going to take a look at that eyebrow right over here. Yeah, I know that measuring is is tough and lots of people want to uh, measure quick, faster, and accurate. So you don't have to keep going back and forth to re-measure. So there are techniques and there are um, simple process. So we're gonna talk more about that. And we don't know when and how to make a learning system. Okay, let's take a look at I welcome suggestions. Okay, now take a look at the eye over here. Seeing that that shape. And it's just a little reveal is everything is building up like a building, right? Building up on top of the other decision that you make. Uh, but it's very important that we give the full attention when we are making one decision at a time. So if we don't make the decision correctly, all the decision that you make after, based on that decision, it will be questionable. Okay. So you have to make the decision correctly, sincerely. Okay. Now I'm going to get a little bit red. Maybe just a tiny little bit lighter. Just a little bit. 
but you don't have to make it very clear. And we're talking about the nostril now. I'm gonna painting the nostril. So where is it? Right about here. Like that. That's good. All right. That is good for now. And we're gonna make a little light on top of the nose. That will be fine. And we're gonna have a little bit more red mixed into the brown. It's good. And we're painting the mouth. And take a look at that. And take a look about, about the big shape. And then we're going to the chin. Just from the top, going gradually, going down. Like that. Pretty good. Isn't it? And we're going to have just a little bit tiny, tiny red. And we want things done quicker. Which is and everything come with minimum. So minimum time, minimum materials, minimum everything. Okay. Very good. Now I'm going to make this a little bit softer. Coming all the way down over here because see that? And coming like this, you see a little under the, uh, the mouth have a little bit light. Can you see that? That's as good. Coming all the way onto this side. And this side need to be a little bit more red. It's going to be okay like that. That's as good. Look at the cheek over here. Look at coming over here a little bit more over. And over here have a little bit more shadow. A little bit more darker. Okay, here we go. Gonna get a little bit darker. Yeah, take a look at the bottom of the chin. Like that. Now a little bit more coming down as the shadow. Coming down over here. Okay, getting there. Now let's put a little bit light into face. And before we go, move forward. I want to add a little bit red up over here. So you see this is a lot more like uh, wet glazing. It just put the red in here and mix that in. Okay, a little bit more red up over here. Okay, this is good. The top over here facing to the sky is the sky always appear to be uh, cooler. So everything come looking the bottom I look a little bit warmer like over here. A little bit more warmer. So a little modified color. Modifying the color. And also in here, a little bit more red. Like that. That's pretty good. And the eyebrow can be a little bit longer. Here we go. A little bit short. Okay, a little bit longer. That's it. Simple. Now we're going to come to give a little bit light shape. So take a little white and just have a little bit orange. Take a little yellow and, and the red, a little bit orange. And let's see, it's not really that bright, but this will be fine. Okay, this color could be just good. Let me take a look. Take a look at the top of the nose right there. Hmm, more light. Okay. Like that. Just a little bit light. That's it. That's a little triangle. You see that nose? Pop out already. Okay. And take a look on this side. And over here. You don't have to, don't have to do so clear. Okay, this is good. Just a little bit. And take a look at the side of the mouth. There's a little highlight over there. Okay, now I'm going to use the brush this way. I'm going to push it up. Where is it? Find out where's the location. Okay, look at it again. Don't rush to do it. You have to do it right. Okay, right here. That's 
that's the brush. The same brush has been. Okay, number one, fibre shape. Okay, it's very sharp. Haven't, and it's not really that sharp, but it's sharp enough. So let's see. Yeah, hi James. And let's take a look right under the mouth. It already have some shit, have some light. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more light. This is good. Also over here, also see a little bit light over here too. That's a little bit light over there. This is good. Okay, now take a look at, at the bottom of the chin. Can you see the bottom of the chin? Right over here. Mm, here we go. Coming all the way in here. You see that? That's good. That's the reflection. Like that. Now we're going to make it a little bit more red. Uh, at the bottom, it's quite red. I can make it a little bit more red. Here we go. Right over here. Right under this mark. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay. And we're going to give a little bit more orange color. Over here too. Like that. That's good. And I can have even more red. Just a little bit more red coming over here. Like that. Pretty good. And we're going to take a look at at the bottom. I'm going to have an even darker color. Okay. Just a little bit darker brown. Just red, blue, and maybe a little bit tiny yellow. Okay. That's good. I'm going right over here. What I'm trying to show you is that it's not about how much you paint. It's how much you think. I think that's more important. Okay, this is good. We want to have a little bit more here on the outside here. Oh. Actually, I can have this come out a little bit more. And seeing that that shape more like this, that's good. A little bit bright orange color. No. And see that there a little bit blue coming in there already. So I'm going to have a little bit orange thicker. I'm going to cover it. And I also want it to be brighter. Okay. Here we go. That's good. Like that, like a fire. Okay, uh, like that. And on the side over here, and I can have a little bit shape coming down like this. That's good. And a little bit shape coming up over here. The painting is very tiny and small, so we're not going to get into too much details or two small details okay I'm gonna give you a little bit for the mouth okay here we go right here a little bit more like that shape a little bit and over here come out a little bit like that okay a little bit thicker then okay here we go that's good. That's good. Okay. The lower lip of the mouth, a little bit more red. I'm going to just have the little red over there. That's good. Right in here. Okay, that's good. All right. We're coming to the ear then. Okay. Don't forget there's an ear over there. And the ear always very warm, very red. So, here, take a look. And make sure the location of the ears is right. And actually, you don't have to pick too much detail of the ear. But you just have to make the, the location, the, sh the big shape. And I'm going to have a little bit more lighter. Like right over here. And see that? That's the ear inside over here. And we're going to keep it a little bit at the bottom. Okay. 
make sure that the bottom is right here that's good and this right good okay i know that lots of people liked look at john singer sergeant's painting you see how economic how thoughtful that he's doing his brush draw so you don't have to paint a lot it's about think a lot okay right here that's good a little light shape over here and have a little bit light shape over here just think about it okay right here and a little bit over here too and then the ear could be it okay i'm gonna move this shape a little bit softer move it out a little bit okay like that okay now I'll take a look at the whole painting okay okay right here I think that there's a little light shape I'm gonna hit that a little bit and then I'm going to eliminate and we make sure that The, that's good that's the the angle of the uh, I may be getting a little bit too much but that's in making it more consistent okay I'm gonna have that bottom over here okay that's just get the cross that's just the what we call the uh, this is good. All right, this this is the cast shadow. Uh, it's very straight. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna go into just give it a little bit. We don't have to. Actually, you can call the painting finish if you want to. And um, you can have a little bit orange color over here. Okay like that and then also have catch the shadow on this side okay and you can have a little bit more over here like that it's good like that that's pretty good and I'm gonna have a little bit thicker color and here you go just have a little white cross over over here okay this is good Okay, and then I'm going to have mix a little bit brown color. And right in here, you see the, the line all the way come down and then start over here. Okay. And cross over and here you go. Here you go, that's just good. Okay, like that. Economic, that's very important. Okay, and that's the rock over here. Yeah, and you don't have to do the rock, okay? Okay, like that. A little bit softer. And we're going to come back to just give it a little bit lighter. I'm going to take that a little bit white. Just put it at the top over here. Like that. And I'm going to. Uh, Calling this painting, it's going to be finished. So I'm going to have a little bit light shape coming here, and maybe a little light shape over here. That's just good. And okay, take a look on this side. There's some light shape over here. That put a few dot on it. That's just good. 
Okay, let's just get over here. Make it a little bit softer. Let's just get Okay, so this is the end of my demonstration.